Hello everyone, it's Maisie. Um, just a quick thing, if I sound really nasally, um, that's because I have a cold. Um, my, I've been quite poorly this weekend. Um, and if you hear any, any noise, I'm filming at 20 past 8 on a Saturday, Saturday evening and I live opposite a pub. Um, not my smartest idea, I'm aware. But I've been waiting all week to film this video because it doesn't matter how hard I've tried, everything has got in my way. Um, so I had enough and I was like, no, I really want to film this now, I've had enough. So we're just going with it. Like that, for instance, shouting and screaming. I think that was a child. But anyway, neither here nor there. Let's just get on with it. This is my third, maybe fourth time trying to film this evening. Um... First off, you're in a different position, um, and that's because, and there's a new background, this is a cut off from an old blind, and I thought it was just a bit nicer than looking at my craft mat, which is always dirty. So I thought, nah, let's recycle it, repurpose it, see what happens. Um, and I really like it. It's nice to look at. Um, and you're in a different position because of this. I got this at B&M. This is a smartphone holder, so it's one of those ones that I can hang over my desk using my shelf. And it's just a lot easier to record on. Um, which is nice. <laughs> um, I don't have to sit with a tripod between my legs, which is lovely. I can still use my tripod for when I need it, but for a majority of my videos it will now be this. Um, and yeah, for the cheap price of £5, and it seems to work pretty well... I'm not complaining. I'm really not. Um, so yeah, and it is, there you go, it's for phones, it's 65 centimetres long and it's a 360 rotation and it's bloom brilliant. I love it. So that is my new tripod majig. Five pounds, go check it out if you don't have one, because they're brilliant. Next, from b and I bought, bought a couple of things. Oh, this is a haul about all the shops. I should probably say that. This is this is an all the things from all the shops haul. Um, crafty related, obviously. Um, this could be my worst video yet because I'm filming when I'm poorly. But never mind, who cares? Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And say hello down to me in the comments. Back to where we were. Paper pads. Now, if you're a regular at my channel, you all know I have a problem with paper pads. We all know I'm addicted to them. Um, it's an issue. I know it is. Who cares? These were half price. So I bought three of them. I bought two of the same and one different. They were one forty nine instead of two ninety nine. I'm not going to pass up that deal. I don't know anybody who is. Um, not if they're a paper crafter anyway. But let's just give... A really quick flick through while I have a quick talk about them. Um, so this is the Vintage Urban. There's 24 sheets of 250 GSM cardstock. Double sided. There's two of each design. The designs in this one are absolutely beautiful. I do already have this one. But I want to fussy cut out like this page. And a few other pages like the butterflies and the swallows. and Stuff like that. So... While it was on half price, I was like, yeah, I will. I'll get another one. And then I got two of this Truly Refreshing, which is a blue. Different tones of blue and purple. And there's a little bit of pink in there, not a lot. Um, but again, I bought two because I thought, yeah, I want to fussy cut out some of these. Um, so again, one forty nine for... 24 sheets of 250 GSM cardstock. That's pretty cheap. Um, and yeah, this has got just some beautiful designs in. Like this one here, I'm thinking white splatters, easily like a galaxy. Love it. Um, and then there is again a few really lovely, um, fussy cuttable patterns in there. So that's those three that I got from BM. I'm trying to go quite quickly because I have a feeling I'm going to have a coughing fit and then I'll have to stop and record again and I just don't have the energy. 
I just want to be able to use my stuff. So the next place I got some bits from was Michelle Kors, uh Facebook shop, all things washy. Love that place. Absolutely love it. Bought another paper pad, a small one, and then three washies. Um, now this this paper pad I completely forgot about. Completely forgot about. But never mind. These are the three washies I got. So they're kind of uh, animal themed. This gold animal print, either giraffe or cow, however you want to look at it. I'll go with giraffe because it says go wild. I don't see cows being a wild animal. They're too domesticated. But anyway, um, so this one just says go wild. They are a waxier washy than I'm used to, but I don't care. They're pretty. And then we've got this black one with the gold foiled dots and stripes. So that's those three. They were a pound. And then we have this watercolour paper pad. And you just paint to reveal the designs. Um, like this one. I know you guys can't see it. But there's sprinkles and cupcakes and ice lollies and ice creams on that page. I will let you have a look. See that one there matches that one. When I've done a couple, I will let you guys um, see them. And yeah, I think these kind of paper pads are awesome. And yeah, that was also only a pound. And then this Craft Sensations paper pad. It's called Basic Marble. And oh, some of the patterns in there. We have 30 sheets of two of 15 designs. Uh, 230 GSM and they are acid free. We've got half foiled, half unfoiled. So foiled, unfoiled. Just some really beautiful designs in here. I love that one with the stars. I absolutely love this one with the rose gold foiling. It's so beautiful. And just, like, it's not all marble, which I appreciate. Um, And I, I love that they're not all foiled, because that would probably annoy me too. <laughs> Um, and this is mainly for making like um, dashboards for my planner, I think, because I make monthly ones, um, and also for my scrapbook layouts, because I don't like um, heavily patterned paper. These are quite subtle, like that marble. It's quite a subtle pattern for a patterned paper. So that one there was four pounds, and I will link um, Michelle's All Things Washi Shop. In the description below. Michelle also now does have a YouTube channel um, where she shows what products she has um, going at the moment. Sorry, I'm gonna have to blow my nose. Uh, sorry about this. It's easier for me not to pause it because I'll mess it up. Um, yeah, which I only found out about the other day, um, which was nice to be able to see what products she's got in and what they look like so yeah i will try and link that down below as well but that's from all things washy um then lidl's had a bit of a crafty week going on um which was nice i love it when lidl's have a bit of a crafty week going on i bought a few bits a lot of it was 2.99 there's only one thing that was more expensive which was uh 3.99 but I bought their patterned card packs. They look like this. Um, I bought two of these. One I've already taken out of the packaging because I tried to film it before. Not because I'm super organised, because I'm not. Um, but there's 20 sheets of patterned card. <coughs> Sorry. There's 20 sheets of patterned card. Which is 24 by 34 centimetres and 250 GSM. And then there's five sheets of 24 by 34 centimetre, 250 GSM shimmer cardstock, which is the one you can see right here. But I have taken it out so we can have a quick flick through. Um, and these were only 2 99 and I absolutely love um, the card packs like these. I bought two last year as well. 
and I did also buy the Christmas one when it was out last year. Um, so this one here is quite autumnal themed. It says that they can be either um, Christmas, natural or autumnal themed. So this first one is very much autumnal. I'm really thinking about cutting this in half using this for my October dashboard. So I think that'd be really cool. Um, then we've got this yellow with sort of snow drops. Well, I, I think of snow when I look at this and pine needles and like holly berries, which is probably a bit weird because nobody else can probably see that. But anyway, then we have this um, blue, orange and yellow umbrella pattern with the raindrops in between. This orange uh, diamond pattern kind of makes your eyes wobble a little bit. Then we have this, the first Christmas patterned one. I love this one. The little owls with the Santa hats and the little bears. I think it's so cute. And little Christmas tree decorations and Christmas trees and doves. It's just beautiful. And I love the background colour as well. It's not it's not red for a change, which is nice. Then we have this brown striped pattern. Um, with the burgundy, the yellowy mustard colour, the navy blue and the bright blue. Oh, that's beautiful. Then we have this boho... Um, sorry, my nose is running. Ugh. Then we have this boho feather one, which I have a one or two copies of. I'm not sure. Um, it would now be four, um, but that's okay. Then we have this uh, navy blue Christmas design one. Oh, that's stunning. Then we have this leaf pattern with the clouds on this strip. What I'm thinking is cutting out that strip because I have lots of rainy day photos to get scrapbooks. Then we have this quite summery, um, I think, polka dot pattern with the green. We have this swallows paper which matches my vintage urban, urban vintage, vintage urban paper pad with the little tiny blue flowers in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But I can, and it's beautiful. Then we have this chevron kind of pattern, which is quite cool. It's quite contemporary, I think. This blue one, which I have loads of. I know that for a fact. But I do quite like it. It'd be quite good for a masculine card, that one. Uh, then we have some snowflakes in circles, which is quite nice. With the stars and the little tiny dots. Then we have this reindeer, jumping reindeer pattern on the red, which I quite like. Uh, this mushroom patterned paper which is quite cool because my little brother had a tattoo done the other day and he got basically this mushroom here tattooed to his arm and I'm going to take some photos and use this paper to scrapbook it with this leaf pattern this blue arrow pattern if you put it that way or that way it doesn't really matter then we have this Christmas cut apart so we've got some tags and just some signage. I love these little owls with the hats. I think they're super cute, which is adorable. We then have this pattern, which you guys probably can't... My phone probably doesn't pick up that there is an, um, a zigzag pattern in the background with the wood grain on top. That's a cool paper. So that's the patterned papers out of the way. Then we have these five shimmer cards now they are thick they are absolutely beautiful i love the color range i'm probably i know why i went out and bought two of these because i wanted 10 sheets of this i wanted two of each one sorry i have a horrible feeling i'm gonna sneeze here i am oh sorry this is the disadvantage of filming when you have a cold um i sound awful and i keep interrupting myself so again yeah we have this shimmer card and i absolutely freaking love it and i'm gonna die cut as many things as i can out of these five and then keep the other five because i love them so that's the first thing i picked up from Lidl's. um and all of that for 2.99 i think is a steal so i got two Next thing are uh, oops these washi rolls. Um they're from the Crelendo brand, which is a infamous Lidl's brand. Um and they are 
15 millimeter washies as in they're 15 mil wide they're five meters long and let's have a look at the patterns oh, let's do this so these are more like traditional washi than the ones i got from michelle so we have this sort of minty blue um background with the yeah it's gold foiled hearts can you guys even see what i'm doing let's quickly stand up and check that oh yeah yeah you can yeah then we have this foresty themed one so we've got the um squirrels with the pine needles and the pine cones i love this one so cute thinking i might use these new ones in my planner spread this week then we have this gold um I want to say hundreds and thousands, but I know that's wrong. It's sprinkles, like confetti sprinkles, on the white background. And then we have, sorry guys, this is, this nose running malarkey is really annoying. But there's not a lot I can do about it. Then we have my favourite one, which is this sort of copper rose gold foiled chevron design. Or zigzag design, however you want to put it. There's so much product on here as well. For two ninety nine for four rolls, I think that's amazing. So that's the four washi tapes. I don't know why I'm trying to put them back in the box. They don't live in there. They live next to me in my little my little veggie cart. Um. So yeah, that's my washi tapes. I then got the stickers um just decorative sticker set um there's 12 sheets with gold silver and copper stickers so they're all foiled stickers we'll start with this side then we'll move on to this side so we have these owls love these i think they're adorable then we have these christmasy stickers with the tree ornaments and the little angels and i think they're absolutely beautiful I'm really sorry about all that noise outside. Someone's saying happy birthday now. Um, these are going to feature in my Christmas card making, I think. And then we have these gold stars. And again, I'm thinking Christmas. Apart from these geometric hearts, I might use those in my... Um, I have sort of a junk journal -y thing that I made. That's for just when I'm bored. So I think I might use those in there. Then we have some more Christmas stickers. These are also gold foiled. And I love this sleigh so much. This is such a traditional traditional Christmas sticker. Um, and we have the reindeer. Um, I love this one. I might match this one up with this sleigh here. And the snowflakes. And oh, I just love this page because it's quite traditional. I do like my contemporary Christmas. But I do also love my... Um, traditional christmas i'm hoping you can see all of those then we have some silver ones at the back here so we have these hearts so we've got hearts within hearts hearts with flowers in the middle um i absolutely love this one here with the roses let's see if i can fold that there we go so this one here absolutely beautiful then we have lastly on this side this sort of vine leaves with little dashes of florals in between and they are silver foiled those two so i'm hoping i can also get this silver foiled frame off there as well and use that i know that seems a bit silly but frugal and all that um then we'll move on to this side so we've got the copper leaves these are maple leaves i believe absolutely love them i'm not sure what this one here is but it reminds me of conquer tree leaves and for the light horse chestnut there we go horse chestnut leaves um sorry i need to um just blow my nose again for the 90th time that is all this video is going to be is me just complaining about my nose running and me blowing my nose i'm so sorry guys i just couldn't wait any longer to play with my new items then we have on the back of this one 
these absolutely stunning border strips in copper absolutely love this um we then have these numbers and it wasn't until i looked at it yesterday in greater detail if i just pop it that way it only goes up to 24 so that's a bit of a random number why not 25 then i realized actually it's for advent it's not just a set of number stickers or else it just a bit would have been one through to um zero just continuously which is not um but my brain just did not click to it at all so we have some copper advent numbers which is quite cool then we have in the last bit of the copper these absolutely stunning peacock stickers my favorite one by far is this big one down here i think that's absolutely beautiful then we have some more silver sorry i'm getting really distracted by what i can hear outside i'm so sorry guys then we have some more silver let's just fold that over again um so we've got some more christmas themed ones and this is your more modern um contemporary christmas kind of style which i again i really like um I love this um, reef one here with the Happy New Year in there. Um, and the mittens with the winter is love. Winter is snow. I don't believe the winter is snow part because I don't like snow. But anyway, we'll let it stay there. And then lastly on this side we have this beautiful sort of frame design stickers with the little butterflies in the middle. So that's the Crelendo... I think it's Crelando, Creolando, I don't know. Um, but that's the stickers, the 12 sheets of stickers. And 12 sheets of foiled stickers for 2 99 I think is, again, a massive bargain. <coughs> Sorry. Um, then we have, finally, last bit from the dolls, we have this circle cutter, which is just, um, it's kind of like the X, X cut circle cutter. I've had a look, and it says if i find the right side um for cutting precise circles out of paper photos or foils adjustable diameter between 10 and 32 centimeters which is four inches by 12 and a half inches and it um has the blades uh non-slip silicone base built-in compartment with three replacement blades includes blade guard and instructions for use so I will literally just quickly grab it out of the box. So I know the um, X cut one, I'm not sure if it works the same, but we have this little tiny compartment here, which contains your spare blades, which is quite cool. And then this is the guard and there is your blade just there. I'm just gonna stick that back on because I will stab myself. Um, and then yeah it seems to spin pretty well on this mat so hopefully it works well um i'm hoping so because it cost me 3.99 which isn't very expensive but i don't want it to be rubbish and then i have to go out and buy another one um but it will do me for now so that one was 3.99 and again it's the crelento brand which seems to be i mean i trust all my other crelento products so i can't see why i can't trust this one so that was that, and then I did a few bits off Hobbycraft, which I have stashed away in a box. Oh no, there's one more thing from Liddles that was hidden in the box. Um, so this is the last thing from Liddles, which oh, these must have been hauled the hell out of. Um, they're just the Cree Lendo water brushes. Which, when I showed my little brother, he thought they were really fancy gel pens. Um, so you get a, a large, a medium, and a small. And these were £2.50. I was a bit slow on the bandwagon getting them, but I couldn't see them anywhere in my littles. Um, until I looked in the while stocks last um, basket, which is where you often find the 30% off. Unfortunately, I didn't get the save sent off and the box is a bit battered, but they're not going to live in the box, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, 2 50 for those ones. Um, so, But I'm so happy I got them because my last wall brushes are broken. 
Okay, on to, on with the show, Hobbycraft. Now, a family member signed up to the Hobbycraft um, newsletter, got the 15% off code, they gave it to me. I ordered this last Friday, it arrived Monday. Um, this is how long I've been trying to film this video. Um, but anyway, let's do this. So I picked up two Santoro gorgeous stamps. One is called Puddles of Love, um, which is a replacement buy kind of thing because I bought one off AliExpress and it was a silicone stamp and with silicone stamps they don't last forever I'm afraid and it kind of leaked its oils everywhere and I couldn't get it to stick my, to my stamping block, nothing. Um, but it came with a dye. I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, yeah, it came with a dye, so I wanted to replace the stamp. This cost me 170 with that 15% discount. And this one is just too cute not to buy. It is the um, Little Fishes by the collection... I think it's by Airmail. Uh, and this is number 41, and this one is number 16. They come with numbers. I'm thinking I might collect them all, if I'm honest, because they're quite cute. They're not going to take up a lot of room. So, yeah, I might just start collecting all of these because they're only £2 to start with. So, and that is not a bad price, I don't think, because these stamps are brilliant. I do have the big sets. Not of these two, but I have various big sets. So that's those. I then got Paper Mania um, 5 by 7 clear stamping block with the guidelines i have the three by four one of this um but again with the big stamp sets of these they come with big frames and i can't use them because i don't have a stamping block big enough until now so that one was five pounds ten yeah five ten with the discount code it, it was six pound by itself then i picked up the nature's grace six by six paper pad if you go to my Hobbycraft haul for my birthday, you'll see that I picked up the 12x12, 12 12, wanted the 6x6 6 6 to go with it. You get 48 sheets in this one, 4 of 12 designs, acid and linen, linen free, 150 GSM card stock. So yeah, picked that one up. That was 255 with the discount, but it's now been reduced. I then picked up the Jen Hadfield Home and Made uh, American Craft Sticker Book. I will do a separate flick through of this sticker book because I have done for my others that I have from American Crafts. This was only 8 50 with discount. I've wanted this sticker book for ages and it was out of stock just absolutely everywhere. It was driving me mad. But I finally have it and I'm so happy I do. So yeah, I will do a separate flick through of that one. And then last but not least, I bought a stamp set from the Do Crafts Creativity Essentials. And this one is the, uh, what's it called? Steampunk. There's 16 stamps now. I have already taken it out. Um, and it comes with this doody little folder, which I love. And the stamps are there. I absolutely freaking love this stamp set. I cannot wait to get using it. And yeah, so we've got the compass, the hot air balloon, the typewriter, the beetle, the cogs feather i love that feather the clock i absolutely love the clock the hat and the compass are my favorite um so yeah this was five pounds 95 with a discount because they were on sale from 10 pounds down to seven and then i have my 15 percent off discount so that took it to 5.95 but that is finally my video filmed um so it was from hobbycraft b and m Liddles and all things washy. I will link everything I need to down below. If you've liked this video, please actually like it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And say hello down in the comments. And I will be back soon with hopefully a different kind of video. Um, again, sorry for me sounding awful and sniffling and coughing through this video. Um, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye bye.